talk about solo mast raising. First thing I do is make sure that the trailer is attached to the car. Make sure you've got it secured because you're going to be moving around in the boat. The next thing we're going to do is strap from the front of the boat down because when you get to the back of the boat, it's not supported on many trailers and you could tip. That would be a bad thing. It's also the boat is slightly downhill. Next thing is I use a couple ladders, not necessary, but it, it's easy for me. I'm in my 60s. Makes it comfortable for me. Here is where I put the butt of the mast. I put a towel in there and kind of wedge it in there. Makes it easy to, to raise it by myself. Now, I'm looking around. you got to move slowly. You'll notice that there is a splint on my end. I broke it a couple of months ago because working on some boats and I wasn't careful. You have to walk slowly through there and I, I don't, I always clean that area up to make sure I can walk over the traveler. I'm not tripping over a hiking strap. And there are so many lines. So I use some straps to hold them in place but they're still trying to get them out of the way. Now I'm kind of pushing into the front of the boat and lifting so that the butt doesn't kick up because it's kind of top heavy. And then I've got to step over the traveler, which is always a challenge, and not trip. Now, I'm going to lift a little bit, keeping that upper hand to control it. We're going to get it into that fiberglass slot. The lines out of the way. It's also in the mass base. And then there's a little wire rope that'll lock it in there because the car the boat is leaning forward slightly. It keeps the mast forward. And you gotta be careful. Uh, sometimes I use my backside to hold it, but basically I'm making sure everything's clear. I don't have any lines that are tangled because now would be the time to put it back down. Go ahead and get the shrouds connected. And you can see my neighbor over there walking to his mailbox. Um, get the other shroud. I'm also just triple checking because you, you get it all set up and you go, oh crap, I got something tangled. Get the other shroud. Sometimes you got to give a little tug. Now, on the 470, I'd leave the shrouds loose at this stage as we're just getting it set up. Uh, one more check, and then I can start removing these Velcro straps that I use to keep the lines from flipping around. Uh, right now, I've untangled the lines and getting some of this scored away because what I'm not showing you is I'm going to climb out of the boat and go ahead and get the force stay attached. If you have somebody working with you, that's what they would do. The force stay on the 470 because the jib has a wire rope in it is more of safety so that this thing doesn't flip back on you. Um, it, it gets very loose when you start tightening things up, but don't forget it or you'll have a mass fall down and that could be a bad thing. Um, the, again, the ladders you see there, it's for me because I'm in my 60s, it's a little easier to do this. But if you're working with a, a crew, you can just literally pick this thing up. One person put their foot on it, stand it up, Iwo Jima up into the cockpit, and you're good to go. Hope this helps. Uh, please check out my website and subscribe to my channel. It helps me to keep this stuff going. Thank you.